Hey guys, don't forget to click like and subscribe and get all the updates. All right, guys, thanks for uh, tuning to the channel. It is now time for another unboxing. We have the Free Wing Super Scorpion. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's an 80 millimeter uh, EDF jet. It's got a 38.2 uh, inch wingspan. Fuselage is 45 inches long and it runs on 6S um, all the way up to a 5,000 uh, milliamp 6S. So uh, should be pretty good. They state that it puts out about uh, 109.4 ounces of uh, thrust, so it should be pretty good. Um, and this one is running with the 3665 1750 uh, KV brushless uh, motor. 80 amp ESC with a 5 amp BEC 12 bladed ducted fan unit. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, we pulled off the top of the box and here we are. So this is what we got, this is how it comes. Um, nice little security features there to make sure the airplane doesn't move when it's in transit. You can see here we've got the uh, wing spar right there. That looks good. We've got the manual here that comes with it. That's pretty thick. Push that to the side. We've got the wings right here. They look pretty good. Everything's already labeled. That's a free wing plus. It's got functional flaps on there. Everything's already clevised and ready to go. I love it when they do that. And you can see that the retracts are already nestled in there. We'll put that to the side. The vertical stabilizers there. That looks pretty good. And the wrapper. Looks really nice. And then we have the other wing here. I love how this stuff is ready to go, and um, it looks really nice for what for what it is. I mean, it's it's really shiny. The bright colors. I think this is going to be a pretty good one. So can't wait to get this one together. Push that to the side. Then we have the other vertical stabilizer right here in the package. Servos in there with the control arm. Set that to the side. Last but not least, we have the carbon fiber rod. So we'll set that to the side and let's keep digging. Alright we are down to the second tier of the, uh, the unboxing. And here we have the really nice fuselage. We'll pull this bad boy out. Take a look at it. High gloss paint job on it. Looks really good. Let's see here. We'll grab it from here. Take a look at it. And you can see it looks really good very glossy you know I didn't really think a lot of this airplane um, up until recently and uh, glad I bought it it looks really nice we could take a look at the uh, the fan units all tucked in there 12 blader should be really nice from the videos that I've seen it sounds really mean look at that it's got you know Looks like it's got some good airflow going to come in on both sides there. Wing mounts onto the bottom. EDF units sitting right there all nestled. Everything's looking pretty good. So we'll keep pushing along. We've got both of the elevators here. Both of them are tucked away right there. They look good. And I've got the ball and link. Love that. Looks good. The cool thing about this airplane is it's pretty simple. I can tell it's not going to take long to put it together. Got the nose cone right here, tucked in there. You can see that. Like how they uh, have the little protective uh, plastic cover on the end, just in case. And I mean, you know, it's pretty, pretty tough. It's got a cut in there for uh, cooling, air to cut through and uh, cool inside the airplane, the ESC, and everything. Set that to the side. We have the parts baggie with all of our electronics and servo extensions and screws. And we've got some of that, uh, that foam glue. We have the end of the, uh, the jet here. Looks like you have to glue that on. A couple of other miscellaneous pieces there. So that looks pretty good. And that is the tail nozzle is what we're looking at here. We've got the tail nozzle and the main wing fixed 
um, apparatus there. So, looks pretty good. What else we got in here? I don't know what that is, but we'll have to tear it open and see. Alright, opened it up, and this is uh, what we got. These little, uh, just additions that you plug into, add for some scale uh, detail there. So there you have it. That is the unboxing of the 80mm Freewing Scorpion. I mean, that's a nice looking airplane. There is one more thing to do. Let's take a look at the inside. So let's take a look here. Unlatched. Okay, and we'll see what we got going on in here. So it looks like it's got plenty of room. All right, so we got it unlatched. We'll open it up and take a look. And there we have it. Lots of room here. Looks like you can easily fit a 5,000. Probably roll with a 4,000 or 4,500 in there. Plenty of room all the way to the back. Everything's already labeled. Just waiting for you to put your receiver in there. EC5 connector. Love it. And got the hook and loop right there. So uh, we'll put it together and see what happens. But guys, uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching uh, the uh, unboxing of the Super Scorpion 80mm Sport Jet. Next up, the maiden flight. Thanks for watching. All right, we got it all together. It took a little time. It took maybe about an hour or so. Just kind of took my time when I put it together. But here we go. This is it. It looks really good all together. Uh, one thing I noticed about this is it's got a little play right there, a little wiggle. So I might put some uh, tape over that just to kind of keep it down. But two screws go down in the bottom of it. But it looks really good, really sleek. I got the CG, it's all balanced out and everything. And ready to go. So here we go. Cut the inside, you can see where we got the battery bay. Receivers right there. I already got it marked for the 5,000 milliamps. I'll be running fives and 4,000s in this. And uh, should be pretty good. But it looks pretty nice. It looks really nice. And we'll take a look at the bottom side as well too. Let's see how that's looking. The shocks are really, really good. You can see them working. They work like they're supposed to. That's always good. We'll flip it up real quick. And here is the underside. You got your uh, functional ailerons, flaps, retracts, and uh, you know your elevators here, your vertical stabilizers, times two. You got your front landing gear, so everything's good to go. And you can see, I mean, it looks really good. So needless to say, we got a maiden coming up. So guys, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, hang tight. We should have some good ones coming up.